Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you so much for joining our training session today. I appreciate you coming and happy to have you on board. First, I want to make sure you know how to communicate. We do have a questions box that you can type information in. Next uh, point here is please ask questions anytime during our session today. Use that meeting question box, please. Let's go ahead and look at our agenda. We're going to talk a little bit about information and pro certification exams to begin with. Then we'll go through, talk about the scheduling process. And we have a tip that a lot of teachers do like to use these as a class final. You're certainly welcome to do that if you like. We're going to talk about uh, pro certification report data, certificates, sharing, and skills guarantee. So let's move on and start talking about our certification exam. This is the most advanced IT skills assessment, and we use our advanced simulation technology to do that. Hopefully everybody that's on board has used our labs before because that's how our test questions are delivered, is through our lab environment. Now I pulled some statistics from the certification magazine, and I wanted to share some of that detail with you. I happened to pull the Network Pro. For those that responded in this survey, the annual professional salary survey, uh, we found that literally we're 100% of everybody that responded that was actually employed. I think that's actually one of the first that I've seen that 100%. The other thing here is that uh, after becoming Network Pro certified, that these individuals agree that their skills are in greater demand. 85% of them agree to that. 90% agree that their productivity has increased. 90% agree that their problem solving has increased. And this is the one that I like, 86% say that they are satisfied with their salary. So certification exams certainly can help students who are preparing obviously for the workforce. Also, I wanted to point out that if you want some further information, please go to our website. You can mouse over the word certifications and look at the overview. That will give you some information about companies that have hired our students and some additional information about some success stories really from our students as well. Let's talk about the scheduling process because this is up to the instructors to do. However, if you are using LabSim through your learning management system, through integration. Basically, our certification exams can be directly linked to your LMS. So what I want to cover today specifically deals with the side where you, as the instructor, would be scheduling through the LabSim interface. I've already logged into my account. Let me pull that up on the screen here. And first, when I'm ready to schedule that certification, I would go to the Certifications tab. I would go ahead and scroll down to the certification I want to schedule, which will be under the actual certification title and then, of course, under the class itself. So across from my class, I would click the More button or the three dots, and I would select to schedule the exam. One of the things that is different from previous is that we do have a new scheduling process in place. So you can see right up front, I could schedule for the entire class or I could schedule just for individuals. Let's start with the class scheduling and then we'll come back to the individuals. Now for simplicity here, I'm just going to uh, not pick a time. I'm just going to pick a date, but I could pick a date and time here. Now, these can be different dates if you want the students to be able to take this potentially any day during a period of time. It doesn't necessarily have to be a specific period of time. Or we do have a lot of instructors that like to have this test done in class as well. You can require a password if you want so that the students have to type that password in. So you can type a shared password or you could generate a unique password for each of the students. And then when I click Save, the test is now scheduled. It's as simple as that. I can see the date and time. And this date and time, by the way, are when students can actually log in to take the test. So this would be the last date and time that they could log in to start the exam. 
all of our certification exams have a two hour window. So they will have two hours from when they begin to complete the test. I did set a password here. So if I need to retrieve that, I can click on the lock, which will show me what the password is. Or if I generate a unique password for each student, I can go ahead and click the students box and then I can download the passwords from there. So the students will need to get those passwords from you as the instructors. The other thing is that if you did give students additional time on a timed test, then you would see a clock and that will show the additional time students would have to take the exam. Now, let me delete this class schedule and let's look at the setting schedules for individuals. This is the screen that I would come to had I selected that option. And here I could, of course, just click on add custom schedule if I wanted that specific student to take the test. Or if I want a couple students to take the test, then I can click on those individuals, go up to actions and add a custom schedule. And you can see I'm back to the custom schedule area where I can select the date and time that I want as well as a password. I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And now for this scheduling, I can see I have two students that are scheduled to take the exam versus the entire class. So that's the scheduling process. Once you have the test scheduled, the students will be able to see that that test is available for them, but obviously they're not going to be able to access it until the date and time that you specifically have that set up. I'm going to go ahead and click done here. Once the test is scheduled, like I said, then students will be able to take that exam. And then after that test is over, you have the ability to look at individual scores as well as to view statistics for the class. I have some data that I want to show. This is some live data that I pulled. And you can see that it shows the students' names, which I have uh, blurred out here, but their scores, if they passed or failed, the time that they spent, and then the amount of attempts. Now, let me point out that the test out pro certification exams, everybody has one free attempt at those tests. So students can take the test once at no additional cost. That's another reason why instructors like to use it as a final. However, let me point out that under the attempts, you can see that there are some students that did more than one. So students can do more than one attempt, however, only that first attempt is free. So if they need to do additional attempts, they will need to purchase a retake voucher, which is $39 per each voucher. The nice thing about this particular report, when you run this, you can see these are blue when they have numbers next to them, and I can click on a number and then I can expand each of these domain topics so that I can see how the student did in each of those respective areas. And I can do that, of course, for any of the students. So that's the individual score detail. If I'm looking at statistical information, then I can see statistics for classes. I can pick, of course, date ranges here to look up from the drop down filters, but this will show me details for each of my specific classes. And then it also will show me statistics for the school, for the state that I'm in, as well as on a national level. So those are the statistics that are available within the reports that every instructor has access to. Of course, when students are done and they've passed, they earn a certificate. We have a certificate, here's a sample of that, and it will explain what the certification name is, and then it also shows what skill sets they are coming away with in this particular test. If I go back to my certifications tab across from my class, right here is where I would be able to download those certificates for the students. However, the students can download those as well. It looks like I have a question here. It says, is the cost of the certification test only applied to the original exam and not practice? That is correct. So what I am referring to right now specifically is the live test. This is not the practice. The practice is at the end of the course. 
for each of the certifications and those practice tests can be done as often as students want. Obviously, there's no additional cost for that. Thank you for the question, by the way. So here, everything that I've been covering today is the live exam. So this would be scheduling that live test for them, viewing their report data, and downloading their certificates for them as well. Now, this was all from the instructor perspective, but I've logged into a student account. Let me pull that up on the screen here. This particular student, I went to the certifications tab for this individual. And you can see there's a congratulations here. And I wanted to share one of the new things just as of last month. So I'm gonna to go to the more button for the student. And this is the new feature here. They could download and print their certificate before, but now they have the ability to share this information. So let me click on this option here. This will load the certification information. It goes through each of the skills that the student went through for each of the domain topics. If they want to print this out, they can click on the certificate and they have the ability to download that certificate or they can always order a printed certificate along with a wallet card. Now that does come at a nominal fee, I think somewhere between five and $10. I don't know that exactly, but it is not a lot. But they have the ability, of course, to print that themselves. The new option here is the option that they can share this information. So when I click on share, there are multiple opportunities now for them to share that digital badge and information through LinkedIn, through a Facebook newsfeed, or through digital badge. The digital badge is part of a worldwide standard for sharing certifications. One of the most common, as we note here, is badger.com. Basically, this is a location where individuals can keep tabs of all of their certificates that they have earned, whether from test out or from another industry certification. And then last, they have the ability to copy the link for this certification verification page that they can, of course, share anywhere on the web. So these are new sharing options that we have out, like I said, just as about a month ago. So that's the student side where they have the ability to download their own certificate as well as to use any or all of these different sharing methods. Now, the other thing that I want to review, so I'm going to go to our website, testout.com, because the other thing that I find that a lot of teachers are unaware of is our skills guarantee. So if I mouse over the word certifications, I can see there is an option here for a skills guarantee. When I go to this page, there's some great information. I'll just cover a little bit of this here with you today. We wanted our certifications to be more than just a piece of paper. Our management came up with an idea that we wanted to also include a skills guarantee. So basically what that entails is that our confidence in these students who have earned the certificate lends us to say, hey, we guarantee that they are able to do those skills that they've passed in our certification exam. I'll go through this information here. So if an employer hires one of these individuals and after putting them to work for a three week period, finds that they really don't have the skills that we said that they did, then we will pay that employer up to $1,000. Anybody who needs to know what skills are guaranteed for each of these certifications, of course, can come out here and click on the view guaranteed skills for any of our individual certifications. How do you get in this program? Well, first off, let me note, this is a free program to participate in. So there's no additional cost for this. If you are not already signed up, simply contact your account rep at TestOut and they can turn on that feature for your particular school. And then here's information for instructors here, but basically, through the LabSim interface, the students who have earned a certificate can then apply for the skills guarantee. 
The skills guarantee, though it's awarded from test out, is actually confirmed and verified by the instructors. So every student does not necessarily need to get a skills guarantee if they've passed our certification exam. Some teachers say, we're just going to offer this skills guarantee to our top students in class. So again, it's up to the instructors to determine who walks away with the skills guarantee. So even though a student may have passed, if for some reason you don't feel comfortable giving that student a skills guarantee, you are the one in essence with the final say on that. So instructors have to accept or decline the skills guarantee opportunity for the students. By the way, if you want more detail on that, here is a hot link with a tutorial and some further information on our skills guarantee. But basically, this would be a guarantee that the students can take to a prospective employer. So the skills guarantee is a great opportunity for students to participate in that and to not only walk away with a certificate after they've taken the course and passed our certification exam, but it also gives them an additional guarantee, in essence, that they have the skills so that they come with a $1,000 guarantee to any employer. And I just want to open it up and see if there are any additional questions. And also to let you know that if you do have other questions, even after we have concluded here today, you are always welcome to send questions to training at testout.com. Either my colleague or myself will be happy to answer those questions for you. Okay, just a couple takeaways. Our certification exam is free. There's no additional cost for that unless the student needs to take a retake exam. It comes with a certificate. It comes with the ability that students can share their digital badge online, as well as they have the ability to participate in that skills guarantee as long as the school has signed up for that. So keep that in mind. They can only apply for that if your school has already signed up. And it's simple to sign up. Just contact your account representative and they can make sure that they get that taken care of for you. Bonnie, thank you for that question. Also, the retake exams are $39. So a $39 fee for a retake, but the first attempt is always free. And again, this is the live exam. Those practice tests at the end of the course, students can take multiple times. All right, well, thank you guys so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Bye-bye now, everybody.